It's more than I expected. I, I think initially I just thought it'd be a convenient place to live, but there's, it's so much more than that. The most special thing about women's college is the sense of belonging that women have. And they have, they develop that sense from the moment they walk in the door. And it's a sense of belonging to an, to an academic community. Women from all over Queensland and Australia are coming together to mark the 100 years of the Women's College. It's a celebration of past and present. A celebration of a century of united experience. And while there are differences in the experience due to the passing years, at its core, the journey is the same. Dr Sally Ann Atkinson, AO, President of the Women's College Council, has been part of the Women's College community for 50 years. The 100 years is, is very significant. It's significant for any institution. I certainly think it's something um, worth celebrating, the 100 years of a city, the bicentenary of the country. Um, on the surface, it says, we've been here and we've survived. But I think very importantly, the 100 years gives you an opportunity to say, who are we? Um, to look back on where we've come from, to um, look at where we're going. I think it's really special to be part of the Women's College in its centenary year. Mostly because when you first come here, one of the things, the feelings you get is that you're part of something that's much bigger than you. And you get that feeling when you walk down the hallway with all of the photos of all the previous years uh, of the college girls here. So to be part of it in its hundredth year, uh, where it's already given so much to so many women, um, I think is a really special thing. I'm lucky to be here to be part of 100 years celebration. and. Uh... Yes, it's, it's great to be here. You've seen it growing, and it's very, very different from our day. 91-year-old Rosemary attended Women's College during the era of World War II. Her time at Women's was very different to the 21st century experience, but equally empowering. Well, I just took it for granted. The Women's College has a long history of producing leaders, women who forged the way in a wide range of roles within the community. I think it definitely encourages you to explore, explore yourself um, because you're surrounded by so many different people pursuing different um, paths in life that you're encouraged to explore all of those opportunities for yourself. The Women's College does enable women to reach their potential and, and it enables women to do that because it looks at the woman as a whole. So it's a holistic view rather than just a narrow academic or intellectual view. So, and I think that's what empowers women in the future, uh, whether they go into the professions or whether they, they become mothers in families. So, and, and I think what it draws out of them is leadership potential. So I think women have the idea that they can just about do anything. A commitment to foster educated women leaders who are ready to lead is the foundation of the college's mission. Ready to lead is a very important concept. Um, when you analyse, it's not just producing women who might be, you know, Lord Mayors, Governors, Premiers, and we've had all of that. It, it means women who are ready to take an initiative perhaps in a, a thinking way, um, who are ready to stand up for themselves, who have ideas, who have intelligence, who have the confidence to come forward with their views. To me, that's what leadership really is. One of the most important hallmarks of women's has been giving back. So the women know that they benefit from our university education and from a college education, which is the whole 360 degrees education. And then they're keen to give back to the community. My sort of favourite part about being at women's is that we got to do so many community events. And that's something I think if you don't go to college, it's easy to miss out on after school. You sort of do all these charity things at school, but at college, I think it was just so commonplace every weekend to do something community-based. And it's, it just becomes such a norm to want to give back to the community, not because you're being seen to do it, but because it just feels good and it seems like the right thing to do. The motto of the college is an important one. 
it tends to really reflect the sense of uh, community and, and wanting to give back to the community that we try to instill at women's. And that manifests in the girls doing a whole lot of community service activities, but hopefully later in their working lives, finding extra ways they can give back to the community as well. Bianca Watt is among the next generation to enjoy the rich opportunity of attending the Women's College. Well, I'm here on my bursary at the college and it's changed my life more than I can describe. It's given me opportunity that I wouldn't be able to have for myself without the support of the college. Um, it's given me the opportunity to have an education. The Women's College is about creating strong connections between women. The bonds of friendship are made and remain. At uni, I think, like, is it friendship or is it networking? You know, here it's lifelong friends with people that like, you'll know for the rest of your life. Living here with 200 other girls is amazing. You think, oh, will I get along with him? Is it going to be all right? Is it not going to be OK? But it's just a big family. It's like having 200 sisters every day. So Women's College for me gave me an amazing stepping stone from school into university and then to my professional life. The girls that I met in that, I was only here for a year, in that year are still my friends. They, um, they, we've got so many secrets between us that we'll never get out of the vault. But you know that you can't, you can't take away that amazing start into your professional life. And I think that is something special that always remains with me. And I always look back and just smile when I think of women's college. That I know that if I'm going to go on to my next stage of my life and they're going to follow me with me. Even if we're in different parts of the world, they're still going to be there and supporting me in every aspect of my life. There's much to celebrate at the Women's College. A 100-year legacy that lives on in the lives of so many successful women and so many more to come. I think I definitely feel sentimental about my time here and I think I feel almost in a little way protective over that experience to make sure that other women, you know, continue to have that experience into the future. The most special thing about Women's College is the sense of belonging that the women have, of belonging to a, to a community, to an intellectual community, to a sporting community, to a cultural community. It is, it's hard to sort of explain what women's meant to me in just one sentence because it meant so much. It was, it was a home, it was somewhere where I was supported and looked after, but it also taught me that I could be something brilliant and that, you know, no matter where I came from, no matter what my parents did, what my family background was, that who I am can be something really wonderful and that I can, you know, be a great person in the world somewhere doing whatever I want to do. <laughs>